Hi, in this video I'll be showing you the different method to add a shared mailbox to Office 2016 or Office 2019. So it's definitely going to work also um, with Office 2013. So if you if you're administrator if you're if you're working on, in, a, in an office or you're working at home and uh, your administrator called you that they've um, created a shared mailbox or you created a shared mailbox from Exchange um, Office 365 and you want to add this shared mailbox to your um, Outlook to Outlook so there are different method in which you can add this mailbox to Outlook. So the first and simple method is by going to clicking like File. And then go to account settings and here just click account settings so here click um, select the um, mailbox of your, uh, of your account and then click change click on that exchange account settings click more settings then click advanced here you have the mailboxes so so it says open this additional mailboxes so i can just click um, add and then look search type the mailbox it then global so if there are multiple names with and I started with it global so it's gonna just kind of display or pop up all the um, names so you have just you just have to select the right name and then click apply click OK So it's trying to add so click next and then click done so here you can see if i go to um scroll down a little bit here you have the it global shared mailbox which i just add so we don't have any um any email on the mailbox so because i just created this mailbox in the uh, exchange office 365 365 so we also have actually a different another method to add the shared mailbox as an additional account. So first of all, let me just remove the shared mailbox I added. Just um, click and then click removed. Click yes. Apply. Okay. Next. Done. Okay. So you have another method how you can add. The shared mailbox. So right now we are going to add the shared mailbox, the the shared mailbox, not as an additional mailbox, but as an additional account. So um, let's go to file again, and here you have add account. You can also as well go to account settings, and you can click new. So but let me just go to file and click add account. So it's going to ask me, ask me what um, account. I want to add so it's searching so let me just type the full name of the account then click connect you also have the option to click advanced option so you say let me set up my account manually but I just want to set it automatically so just click next so right now here's the trick so it's going to ask you for a password if i try to enter right of course i don't have a password for this account for the shared mailbox account so if i try to enter a password like maybe for example my um, normal account account password so it's going to tell me um, i'm going to receive an error that the uh, password is not correct so what you actually normally do to get access to a shared mailbox as an additional account you have to log on with your email account so i'm going to log on with this um, email account which i use to um, open outlook and click next so now you have to enter the, the, the password of the email address click sign in so um, let me just do it again and let's okay use this account and here you see I'm um, just adding the ID the shared mailbox set up outlook mobile on my phone to now click done and if I scroll down here you can see the mailbox you see here I have my inbox and 
also my send items but right now i don't have any emails because the um share members was created not quite long ago so these are the two methods in which you can add um shared members to outlook so you can add it as a additional members or you can add it as an additional um, email account so what are the difference between these two the difference between these two is this if you add the, the shared members as an additional mailbox so every mail is like the OS dot ost file which are, which is being created locally on your computer will be saved combined together with the general account so which means if i add this it global as a shared mailbox is um, as an additional mailbox is going to actually combine the ost file with the Nora John Johnson at prevectls.be. But if I add this as a different, as an additional account, this mailbox is going to have its own .ost file. So which means actually to me, if for example you have like um, 10 gigabytes of um, OST file on your uh, general inbox and every mail that comes in here also it takes you have received a lot of mails from your shared to your shared mailbox. So this this OST file is going to get bigger and bigger, and the retrieving mails from the shared mailbox may take a longer time. But if the mail has been added as an additional account, it's going to create its own OST file. So receiving mails on that mailbox, um, mailbox or kind of opening emails which are saved locally, it goes faster because of course both are being separated. There are two different dot OST file. Well, this is the method in which you can add additional mailbox to Office 2016 or 2019. So thank you very much for watching uh, this video. Please don't forget to um, leave a comment or subscribe to my um, channel. And if you have any question, please just leave a comment and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please thank you for, for watching my video and see you next time. Bye.